Hello and welcome to Drafting with Jamie Rigotti. We are drafting a friendly draft league today for Kaladesh. Uh, we only have a couple more weeks left of just Kaladesh, so that's kind of exciting. Um, this looks like a good pack. I mean, I think the choice is clear, but there's a lot of really strong cards in this pack. Like, this pack is pretty much stacked. Fumigate's great. Judge can be really good in the right deck. I like Scourge a good bit. Aviator's nice. Payma Outrider's nice. Welding Sparks is pretty great. There's also a Warden and a Tidy Conclusion. That is stacked. But I'm going to go ahead and take the Wrath. The Fumigate. Wow. Summonings. Uh, it's just a really strong... This, this card is really... It's just really, 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 really strong. So I'll take it. But that pack was really good. Okay. Now, this decision is a little bit less clear. Um, the only white card in the pack is Ibex, which is, like, not exciting. So we're going to go ahead and leave that there. Gearsmith is very strong, and it's splashable, so I think that's going to be the pick. Summonings is kind of cute. I've never actually played with it, but I've seen people do, like, bonkers things with it. But that's definitely a build-around that I'm not really looking to do right now. So I'm not going to do that. Um, let's do... I think we should take Gearsmith. <sighs> it's just so strong, and there's nothing else that matches the power level in this pack. So, yeah, let's take that. I don't like being a pigeonholed into two colors this early, but it's very strong, so that's okay. And we, I guess, we'll just see what happens. Okay, so I'm not going to take a Syndicate Trafficker, which might be unpopular. I don't like it as a two-drop. I don't. I There's nothing... I don't really want to be sacrificing random artifacts to make this indestructible and put a counter on it. I just don't. I don't like it. So I think in this pack, we can either take Screecher or Pioneer... Um, self assembler is not something I want to be taking this early, but I do like that card a good bit too. And there's some good red cards here. Infiltrator Genius, Monitor, those are pretty good. Uh, Pioneer or Screecher? They're both quite good. Let's, uh, let's take the Pioneer, because wait, at this point I think we know we're white, we're not quite sure if we're black yet. That's my reasoning for that. Like, this is very splashable, so if we can get like a Prism or some other sort of fixing... Um, okay, this pack is slightly less exciting. Rush is a really good trick, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and take Built to Last. There's really nothing else in this pack for us. This has come up in my book, but I, it's tough to crew at crew four, so I'm going to leave that there. I like Built to Last a good bit, and we're probably going to be getting artifacts at some point. Okay... Well, are we going to be, like, go-wide? Because I do like Servo Exhibition a good bit. I like Eager Construct as well. Hmm. I feel like we can get Constructs later. I like Servo Exhibition because it's two bodies and it's setting us up for, like, Inspired Charge later on. Because we'll probably be able to get one of these pretty easily later. Yeah, I'm going to take the Servo Exhibition here. My reason being, like, Macedon is really good, but they're, it's easy to get later. Same with Eager Construct, it's fine, but it's we can get that later pretty easily, I think. We'll find out. Okay. This pack is not exciting at all. We could take a Puzzle Knot. We could, I don't really want a Camel. Fortuitous Find might be okay, like with the Gearsmith, or if we get some other artifacts. Hmm. Maybe I will take the Find. Okay, cool. Screecher, Wield which is like a good sign that black is like decently open. So I'm going to take that. Inspire Charge, I do want one of these, but not necessarily yet. I like, I think Screecher's like very strong, so we'll take that. I like the bat. Uh, Whirler Maker's probably too slow for us, right? Maybe not. I don't really want anything else in this pack. I'm not really interested in a gauntlet. I'm not interested in another fortuitous find, and I really don't want a sky gate. I guess it's okay. I'll I'm going to take the Whirler Maker and see if we can make that work. It's really slow, but it's it's strong for, like, board stalls. So we'll see if we end up playing that or not. Uh, Wow, Brazen Scourge is still here. That's sad. Does that mean red's open? I'm not sure. It could. But I think I'm actually like pretty happy taking a look out here and see if we can find some skips for it. 
Like, we're not super solidly in black, I guess, but... Okay, so let's see. We have two artificers so far. Goggles don't look super bad. They look all right. But here's a build to smash. Oh, geez. So red is really open, I guess. I think, you know what? I'm going to spec on the build to smash. And then I think we... I don't know. That just was really, really, really late. It was, like, stupid late. Okay, Macedon... I was going to say, we could still be red-white. Because our black is, like, not, like... I'm, I'm not really looking to play a lookout unless we get a skiff. This creature and Gearsmith are great, but this is very splashable. So this was, like, a speculative pick that... What did we miss out on? I don't think anything that important. Okay, this is not a terrible start. It could be better. Fumigate's really strong. The rest is, like, kind of mediocre, except for the Gearsmith, of course. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, this card is... It makes me so sad. They're so cute. All right, who's slowing us up here? Ah. <sighs> Well, that's a green gear hulk. I wonder if... I don't think that's worth anything these days, is it? I mean, we're not really solidly in black. Like, I could totally take that, because it's really, really, really strong. I'm just looking how much it is. It's three bucks. So... It's just such a strong card, it's hard to leave there. Because we're not really in black. Like, I'm not playing black for a lookout, but it's a too late to switch into green. Like, I could take a Snare Thopter and be pretty happy about that, too. This is a tough choice, because that is a very strong card. I just don't really like green-white in this set. I don't. I don't think it's that good. I'm going to take the Snare Thopter. I'm insane. I know it. I, I just, I kind of like what, what we're working with here. Although we could have splashed for Gearsmith and taken that. I, that was probably really dumb. But Snare Thopter's great. I don't, that was tough. That was really tough. I feel like I'm going to get some crap for that. <laughs> but I, I accept. Okay. Uh, we need two drops like crazy. I think I should take this rat. Or a Die Young. Hmm. We just need cards. Let's see. I want to make sure our curve is good with creatures, but I mean, Dai Young is fine. Removal's important. Okay, I guess I'm going to take the Dai Young. I, I don't hate rats, but it's really kind of a unexciting two drop for sure. Okay, Bruiser's great. Bruiser's great. So the person next to me is probably like, why didn't they take the gear hulk? Uh, that took some serious uh, self-control not to take that gear hulk. I've never passed a gear hulk before. But like I said, I don't think white green is like super strong in this set. So that was my reasoning behind that. Okay. I guess I'm going to take another belt to last. There's just, like, really nothing here, right? Ninth Bridge Patrol is okay. But I'd rather have the trick over that. I wonder if we can make a Whirler Maker work in this deck. I, and I can play this lookout if we need to. Oh, passing a Gearhawk. What am I doing with my life? I, I've just found white-black to be really synergistic, and I found um, green-white to be a little bit awkward, so that seriously is why I did it. Okay, Puzzle Knot is fine. I'm going to take the white one, and now we're looking for an Inspired Charge. I don't hate Aetherborn here either, but I'm trying to do this go-wide biz. Okay, cool. So here's a Dunt, which makes me feel better about this whole black business. And I'm hoping we, we probably won't wheel a squad. We probably won't wheel anything from that pack, but that would be nice. We can dream. 
Okay, yeah, so now we're seriously looking for just some three drops and an inspired charge. I, I guess I can play this. I really don't want to. But I could. And Fortuitous Find is playable. Actually, since we have the Snarethopter, that's like much more playable. Okay, Engineered Might. If we would have been green-white, that could have been a thing. We are not. I guess I'll take lookout number two, but now we're really looking for skiffs. Dang, I feel like we could have gone so many different directions with this draft. Like we could have had a nice red-white deck as well. Because there was those gremlins floating around. But I mean, this is not terrible. It's really not. Okay. Definitely need some help though. Okay, decoction module. Are we looking for energy? Not particularly. Are you looking to bounce stuff? It'd be cute to bounce, bounce the gearsmith. That's pretty much it. And I guess with fumigate, we could bounce something to our hands, but I think I'd rather just have like a hawk or even a rat, like just to make sure our curve is good, because I don't think this is what we want to mess around with this, in this deck. Are we trying to hop anything? Not really. I think I'm just going to take the rats. Okay, so this is a three drop, that's fine. Seriously, we need an Inspired Charge, where, where is it at? self is probably too late to be on that track, so I'll just take Thriving Rats number two. They sort of get better in multiples. I don't really want a Scavenger. It's okay. I guess it goes with like Fumigate, I don't know. Scavenger would be all right. But I think the rats get better multiples and make our die young better. I think that was just a good pickup for us there. Okay. Um, pressure point for the board, probably. I've never played this card. I, I might give that a go. I've gotten completely wrecked by that. If it's played on turn one, it's pretty good. App wow. Appetite is a gift. That's, like, unreal. That's weird. I mean, I picked this card like fourth or fifth pick and been happy about it. Not happy about it, but like it's definitely not sad. So that's weird that it's still there. Okay. This is looking like pretty mediocre, but still fine. I mean, Fumigate's really powerful. <sighs> These lookouts, I don't think they're going to make it unless we get a skiff. A skiff or like a dragster would be great. And then an Inspired Charge we're looking for. Mm, a little bit more removal would be nice. Okay. Uh, a Responder is a pretty good pickup as well. So we're going to go ahead and take that. Marauder's nice. But Responder's just better, I think. Because this is a good card, period. This is a good card, it's okay if you don't have the counters on it. It gets better with a lot of counters. And we have stuff with counters on it, so this could be good. If the responder wasn't there, I wouldn't I would take that. But the responder's just really strong. Okay. I don't think we're gonna play Whirler Maker. The find is definitely okay though, I think, with Snare Thopter and Fumigate. Like that's fine. I think that definitely has a spot here. Underhanded designs. There's a virtuoso. I think we take the designs. We have a good bit of artifacts, right? Let's see. Puzzle knot. Snare thopter, pioneer, mastodon. One, two, and the servo. One, two, three, four, five. So this is kind of borderline because we don't have that many artifacts. How many artifacts are we going to get in this last pack? That's a question. Because we could just take timing or rush. I don't particularly like timing, but I think it's probably okay in this deck. Uh, this is sort of a speculative pick, thinking that we're going to get more um, artifacts. But it's it's very strong. It has the highest upside. So maybe we take that and see if it works out. To Paula? Well, dang. That makes me really sad. She's like one of my favorites. Okay, decoction module. Is that something we're interested in? I don't 
I don't think so. I think that's just like too, too much. Too much. Um, and Nuvere, we're not really interested in either though, are we? I don't think so. Definitely not club security. It's just, just like so underwhelming. So let's see, decoction module or maneuver? Do, 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 do. Maybe, I mean, maybe module. We could do some cute stuff with it. Where are all the inspired charges? People are just like scooping them up. Okay, so uh, servo exhibition, if, if we already had an inspired charge in our hand, I'd be like much more interested in this, but we don't. So I don't even know if that's gonna be a thing. Screecher is like quite strong, but we don't have that many artifacts. So I actually think the pick here is gonna be pillar bug. It's a it's an artifact, it helps with our underhanded designs, it helps with our other stuff that needs artifacts, and it's just a solid three drop. Yeah, okay, so Dund Operative number two, which is really strong, or we could take a Sky Skiff for our lookouts. I don't even think I'm playing the lookouts though. I'm gonna take the Dund here. Oval Chase Daredevil, yes! Okay, don't mind if I do. There's no way we wield that construct, right? That would be amazing. A gear shift ace? Oh, what? Okay. Uh, we don't have any vehicles, right? That's fine, though. A 2 one first strike is still pretty good. I'm down to take this. Yeah, I don't think we're on the lookout plan. This is fine. Everything's fine. I am so surprised we didn't see the inspired charges, though. It's weird. They usually go really late, so I guess somebody else was on that plan. Probably in red-white. <sighs> Harold's okay. Do we just want a 2-1 just because we have, wait, how many artifacts matters? Things. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six artifacts matters. Things. We have one, two, three, four... Five, six. I think I just want the two one. I know that's kind of insane. Like Harold's, I don't. Harold's just not that exciting though. I think I just want the artifact. Uh, goggles are okay. We already have a pair though, don't we? No, I guess not. Yeah, I, th I just want this just because it's an artifact. It's fine. Hawk is okay, but seriously, we're not trying to hop anything. So I don't think I'm actually going to play it. Like, all our stuff already has flying. I think this is a 16 land deck just because we have so many 2 drops. So I think this is the deck. I've seen worse. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it's, This just could have gone so many different ways and it just didn't. Um, Are we actually not playing for 2 to find? We'll see. Ooh, a foil swamp. Hey. Pretty. Okay. So, let's see. Fortuitous find, I'm just, I'm interested in it because, like, getting back the gearsmith is really cool and getting back a snare thopter is really cool. But that's, like, the best case scenario. Also, responder's really good. Like, we have creatures we want to get back and we have the fumigate. So... I think that's better than Herald of the Fair since we have so many creatures, honestly. Okay. So our curve is really good. We have some decent creatures. We have, yeah, this is going to be fine. I seriously wish we would have had uh, an Inspired Charge. Though. That's very sad. But 8-8 uh, eight and eight's probably fine. I'm not super excited about this deck. It's, like, pretty mediocre, but it's... It's all right. It's lacking a little bit of removal, but the fumigate, if we can draw that, that will probably help us get there. I'd, we'll see. We'll totally see. I, I've definitely seen way worse. I've also seen way better and still didn't 3-0. Because, you know, there's still a little luck in this game. So we'll see how we draw. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in a little bit.